Now, Hayton Thwaite joining me post another gargantuan Wasp Netball win. Uh, how are you doing and how is it to be back here with your girls, as you said on Instagram, with a gold medal? Yeah, right now I'm feeling a little bit tired, but um, really happy with the performance today. I think Bath are a really strong side, so to go out and win by, I think it was 16, uh, yeah. really happy with that. Um, great to be back with the Wasp girls, really, really, really miss them. So yeah, really happy to be back with them and put out a good performance with them. And what's it like actually owning one of those gold medals? I imagine they're kind of prized. I was talking to Jay Clark and she was like, I might have kept it on in the shower. So I don't know if you've actually just like not taken it off for the first two, two days you owned it or whatever. Literally like these past few days I really haven't taken it off. It's been incredible. I think owning a gold medal is just like, I don't know, something you dream of. And I've been like sharing mine with everyone. So every time I see someone, I'm like, do you want to try a medal? Try it on, try do you want to try it on? Because I'm like, you need to have that feeling of what it like feels like. Yeah. I just want to share that with everyone. That's really charitable. I love it. But you've got to be really trusting with everyone you get it to try it on. Oh, so don't worry. I'm, I've been watching it like a hawk. Yeah, always. You could chase them down if they get back. But I have to say, um, I was looking on your Instagram story. Bit of a, a, a pre-match party in the changing room, I guess you could say. What, when we are dancing in the changing rooms. Yeah, when always. you had the, the, the food and the picnic as well. Oh yeah, we're always having food for picnics. I've got to say, <laughs> I, I hate to spring this on you, Nat, but just to kind of show you, this is from uh, the Instagram story. Oh. Very, uh, some very healthy pre-match <laughs> pre food. food. Is this part of Tamsin's approved diet? This was a surprise party oh, okay. that the girls put on for me and Jade last night. So they were like, right, we're going to have a meeting. And I was like, why are we having a meeting at half eight at night? We've got a game tomorrow. Like, I'm really tired. I'm really jet And I just was like, wanted to go to bed. And then we go upstairs and it's pitch black. And we walk through the door and everyone's like, surprise! surprise! And I'm there. I've been complaining about this meeting. So <laughs> I mean, the cake tasted very good. It does look like to me, maybe jammy dodgers, strawberry lace, I don't even know what it's called. White chocolate fingers. Yeah, it's yeah. quite a collection. Everything you need, and it's red and white themed for England. Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, you guys are performance athletes, so you need what, like 6,000 calories a day anyway, something <laughs> yeah. like that. We'll just keep telling ourselves that. <laughs> but I guess I think the sense that I get, and the reason I loved watching the England Netball win on TV, the reason I love just getting to chat to you guys at Wasps, it seems like you're just a group of big mates oh, and definitely. you've been playing together forever. So is that what it's really like behind the scenes? On honest to God, yeah, it really is. Like, we spend so much time together that. If we didn't know each other well before, we definitely know each other really well now. Um, yeah, with England, we've been away for like five and a half weeks, living together 24 hours a day. So those girls literally are like sisters. And then yeah. the Wasps girl, I've known them like all last year and this year. So it's literally like family from family. And I just inherit like another 24 sisters. <laughs> I mean, like, how well is too well though? I think George Fish was saying to me like another player was shaving her legs or something. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I swear George said that to me. I'm at George Might have Fisher. Been armpits. <laughs> Might have been armpits. Yeah, maybe it was armpits. Yeah, I George. mean <laughs> I'm saying I've definitely seen George doing that before. There you go then. That's that's what sisters do. That is the kind of wasp netball spirit. It goes it goes <laughs> It goes deep. But I mean in terms of like the England Commonwealth like on tour spirit as well, I think Jade was saying to me like Serena kept forgetting her kit. Oh, so yes, are there any like funny moments from tour like antics that were going on with you guys? She definitely forgot her trainers and then I think she definitely forgot something else one day so we had to do a quick trip back to the um like apartments to get her stuff so we ended up writing her a checklist there's a big piece of paper that like unfolded and it'd have everything and we yeah. literally just did that for Serena yeah. <laughs> be like Serena make sure you get this all yeah. and also we always like to talk about music because it plays a big part what tunes have been on generally we, well, the, the playlist stayed the same the whole time, yeah. but Serena yeah, wanted to change it on the day of the final and we were like, no Serena, like we've won so Don't far, we can't change anything right now, we have to keep everything the same. Um, Cheryl Cole, Call My Name was definitely on there. That's nice. Uh, bit of Five, Keep On Moving. Uh, what else was on there? I think a bit of Frank Sinatra. Oh. Uh, You've had all this attention, like the spotlight has been put on you, yeah, I can see you like in yeah, disbelief. I think um, David Beckham was showing some love on Instagram to one of the players. Yeah, Helen Housby. Helen Housby. Yeah. So who's the maddest person that you've had either tweet you or like pay a compliment or something? I wish I could say David Beckham, but uh, it's, it's not. Right. It will be one day, I, I'm sure. Yeah, do you shout reckon? Out to David, Maybe. if you're yeah. watching. Watching David Beckham. <laughs> right, who would be your dream celeb to give you a shout out? Anyone in particular? That's such a hard question. Maybe like the Queen. The Queen. That could happen. 92nd birthday today. So shout out the Queen. But you got to expect the knighthoods are coming yeah. for you guys. So <laughs> I, I would. That. Yeah. What's Neville? I mean, uh, right now, I think very worthy. Very worthy indeed. Oh, thank you. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> and finally, in terms of the future of Netball, I think we felt it a bit like when Wasp won the title last year. We felt it a bit like all the attention of uh, England, the Quad Series being on BBC Two and everything. Yeah. It feels like another mound that's overcome here. So do you think the next six months or whatever for netball 
it's a case of how high it can get. I hope so. I think the fact that we've been talking, the whole world, well, the whole of England really has been, been talking about netball non-stop, and I love that. I want to be talking about netball every day. Like I want it in people's faces. I want people to open the paper and keep seeing netball. So I hope so. Um, and we've got the World Cup next year, so between now and then, we'll just keep building the profile of it, getting the word out there. But like the fans tonight were incredible. So yeah, just keep spreading the word and let's just make netball global. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's make netball take over. UK takeover coming soon. Thank you, Ned. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.